the pieces for these braces, whatever you want to call them. So now we're going to assemble it all. Heater on in a while. Nice load of glue on there. Get the bubbles up to clear all that quite nicely. Get over there. Because I cut different angles on the ends of these, as the the thicknesses don't line up, and obviously to, to get the same thickness you need to half the angle, I didn't do that. But I'll cut that little step in there so it fills the gap, looks quite tidy I think. That's going to come in there like that, that's the first piece. And all I'm going to do there is I'm going to stick a couple of screws here and hold it in place. From the outside in. Uh, they're just regular, right there. These coated screws from stacks that are supposed to not rust. Uh, 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 <coughs> but they're not going to stay in there. They'll be taken out again when it's set off. I don't like that one, do they? Set down there like that. Just hold it in position while the glue sits up. Good. Rapture, of course, is nearly flat. Cold weather. Next one will be that one on there. Should be fine. So that's going to come up to about there. Pencil there. Okay. Let's glue that one up there. It's just a butt joint there, but the, with that brace in place, that will be nice and strong. Good. I'm going to get some shorter screws back in a ticket. Yeah. 
there's that lock clamped on. Glued and clamped in place. Now, we can do the same bit up one. That's going to come on there. We can screw that through there. When it's all glued and dried, Thing, thing on there. I'm going to drill through and put some dowels in. I've got some, got some oak dowels here. These 16 millimeter oak dowels that I'll run down through there. Should be nice. Maybe that might be ridiculous. Good. Next one. Try to stop the air going back in the bottle in the bottle. Um, because the glue sits off with oh, what sort of idiot thing is that? <coughs> the glue sits off with uh, moisture. So if you let air go back in the in the bottle, it starts to set the glue off. I hope this through here because we're into ingrain. It'll just help it bite a bit better. Flush air, so it must be about right. Um, yeah, it's okay. Must have given that One thing that I've realised since I've been doing this is, is, is the value, and I'll come a bit closer to the camera so for the audio, the value of the lofting lines. And I, I originally thought about building this without lofting it because you, know, you think it's both straight lines. Probably, probably do it without lofting, but the lofting lines are so useful. And as you can see, you just lay everything out. You, you draw the lines out full size, lay everything on it. You've got the pattern. It's, it's marvellous, and uh, I've learnt a lot from that. Whack one more time. Out there, we? So just make sure that's lined up on the lofting lines. Right. Now, my deck beam, which I laminated over the, the form, uh, it, it sprung a little bit when I took it off of the form. So it was, I want to bend it back into shape here, on here. Part of the problem is I've cut my form so that it's very thin. At the ends, which means the form itself bends up when I clamp it, but also you get a bit of spring because I'm only laminating these other three pieces. So it's a lay spring a bit, the form itself springs, so that gives me about a centimeter of spring each end. So I want to try and bend it back in. I've got the line drawn on here, so I'm hoping, I kind of think I can bend it back into shape as I glue it up. So I'm going to put a block on here, just temporary, so that I can put a clamp over there. Both sides to clamp that down. I rather hope that's going to work. Let's see, 80, they do a bit of job. Have we got a screw there? No, we're not. Just put a couple of screws through that. Like this.
Here in Germany, we have these, these German screws, the Spax, Spax screws, are made in Germany, aren't they? Pretty sure. Yeah. I've tried buying cheap screws, but it's so annoying when they break when you're screwing them into a piece of wood. Or these are these are the bee's knees. They make regular screws. These coated ones have a bit sort of rust proof, and they make some stainless screws as well. They're not cheap, but they're bloody good. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Over we go. Pull that there. Lay that down to stop the glue running down the bottom. And it's quite such a nice piece of plastic for this one, but these bags are going all out of the way. Take some plastic out. Story. Start off with this one here. Oh, and there's going to go onto there first. So, blah. Need someone with a leaf blower outside. I have to say, I find one of the most idiotic machines ever invented. But people seem to like them. I suppose it ought to be a free world. Pencil. Uh, just to roughly know where to put the glue. Yeah, like that. If you don't know, carpenters' pencils, they're not round. They don't roll away. They're brilliant. These are Steedler, same as makers with pens, German, good. There it goes in there, a couple of screws through there. Bit of a theme, isn't it? Bosch, German, good. Used to be a time when the British made tools. Do that in the first this time. 
de déjà. Food's nice and thick, it doesn't run away very quickly at least, I suppose it will do eventually. Look for that. Put some there. Make sure we don't get the plastic up in the joint, it's important. Stick a couple of hundreds through there. Taking a chance here, obviously, put the screw through that because it's a really big risk of it splitting, but got away with it on the last one. See what happens. It's a bit old scrap wood I took out the firewood, it's been down the firewood shed for a couple of years. Probably not the driest piece of wood in the In terms of free moisture, not bound moisture, of course. Bound water should be all out there, shouldn't it? Good, so now that gives me something to clamp on. I've got to go and get clamps because I've only got little clamps here and I need big clamps. So if I do a few cut for a minute, I'll get two clamps and then we'll do the deck bed. <laughs> 